Hi guys, it's Kat. So on Thursday I started a new series in which I'm using the same Dollar Tree desk and making a luxury piece of furniture out of it in five different themes. Now to go along with this series, I'm doing a smaller sub-series, also once a week, that's going to have a complementing piece of furniture in the same style. So up first is this glam desk with a faux fur covered chair seating. And the fun thing about this is these will be made out of everyday items. So up first we have jump rings. This is a pack of 144 six millimeter jump rings that I picked up from Michaels. And yes, I used pretty much all of the pack. And I'm gonna divide these into sections with nine and sections with eight. And these are the six millimeter jump rings. Of course, you can make these bigger or smaller depending on how large or small the loops are that you want to make for your chair. Now to protect my surface and to keep my glue from sticking, I'm going to use a Ziploc bag underneath everything as a work surface. And I'm going to start by lining up nine jump rings. Nine jump rings at six millimeters each gives me a two inch chair. And I'm going to use the straight edge ruler firstly to show you that that does line up two inches. And secondly, to line up the pieces so that they form a truly straight line. And right beside them, I'm going to add in my section of eight jump rings. These are going to be spaced in between the spaces of the other jump rings. I'm going to use a super glue gel to glue these together. Now the gel takes a little bit longer to dry than your normal uh, super glues. So as opposed to maybe two to three minutes, this is going to take about 20 minutes before it reaches a full dry. And that's perfect because that gives me some time to work with it. Now I'm using this glue and I'm going to basically link all the jump rings together um, vertically and also diagonally. And then I added an additional three rows and glued those together as well. And while it's still wet, I'm going to take this whole piece and place this on top of a four ounce um, Aileen's wood glue bottle. And of course, if you don't have Aileen's wood glue, you can use any four ounce bottle, paint or glue or whatever else you have on hand, as long as it's cylindrical. Now, because my gel has not entirely set yet, this is pretty easy for me to go on ahead and curve those jump rings out. And then I'm going to start on another row, eight and then nine and glue those together. This time just in groups of two because as that curve gets a little steeper, it's going to be harder to glue these on if you have large sets. And then once I have the bottle about three quarters of a way covered, I'm going to go in ahead and secure this a little bit more. Now the super glue will work fine for a temporary cure or a temporary glue job, but in this case I want this to be permanent. So I picked up some epoxy, um, some two-part epoxy from the Dollar General store near me, and it costs, I think, $2. And then just using a skewer stick, I'm going to re-secure the lines where I use my super glue. Don't worry if you make too many, if you fill in any gaps, you can use that toothpick side or an actual toothpick to clean them out. And this sets in about four minutes, but I gave it an hour just to be sure. And then I went back through with some enamel gold paint, the same as I used for the mirrored vanity desk that preceded this video. And then I used a Q-tip and painted both the outside and the inside with the gold paint. I let this dry overnight and then I started to make a seat. I'm using the cardboard packaging from the desk and I cut out three one and a half inch circles. Glue those together, and then next, I'm going to use a cat toy. 
This was also from Dollar General. It was, I think, $1.75 or $2. Not that expensive at all. But as you can see, the fur on it is pretty cut, it's cut pretty short. And I like it because it has a darker um, color underneath and it's silver tipped. And I cut a rough circle out of that fabric to fit over the circle of the cardboard. And then using some E6000, I simply pulled the edges in and secured it in place. Finally, I placed the circle inside the chair, almost halfway down, and then used a little E6000 to secure it from the bottom. And for a quick and easy glam decoration, I used the throw pillow that I made from a ribbon in my glam sofa video. And that's it. You're done. Easy project and quick as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.